giving an opportunity to get to the national championship. Both these teams have worked hard. Now they're here. Let's see how it plays out. Your quarterback keeps it on the option. Has the first down and more. Tackle made, but it moves the ball to the 25 as they try to get this drive going. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. First down here for this offense. They'll run the option. Pitch to the back. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Important second down play coming up. They'll change the pre-snap look now. Dropping back, it's Morris. Oh, yeah. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. And like the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this, and quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Second down play coming up. Looking for some space. It's Davis. Tackle up near midfield at the 48. Well, I would just stick with this RPO. That's a really solid game, and it's plays like this that eventually make that defense collapse down. Then you can pull it and hit a big play through the air to your receiver. And he moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down. Boy, an opportunity missed here by this defense. They get him to third down. They load up the line of scrimmage, but they could not deny this back. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. There are a lot of times when you see a sack like this, you've got to give a lot of credit to the coverage downfield. I don't think the quarterback really felt good about anybody being open, so he held the ball just a little bit too long and allows the defense to come up with the first sack of the game. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Trying to extend the play. Just gets it away. It's a deep ball. Deep shot falls incomplete, but a lot of contact there. And That's here comes the penalty flag. Defense will have to regroup now after that 15-yard penalty. And the Seminoles will have first and 10 here. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. You know, in the RPO game, the quarterback's got to make really sound decisions on that read. You either give it when it's the right time or you pull it out and make the throw. Here, I think he's kind of in that gray area, decides to hand it off and at least picked up some positive yards. Falls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Strong open drive. This is play number nine, but it's third down now. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Dumps it down to the back. Clock. Well, I've always said I think this quarterback all year long has been able to be as consistent as any quarterback in the country. And when you get the third down, you've got to trust that he's going to make the right decision and throw an accurate ball to give you a chance at a first down. There's another example of it right there. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Big throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. And the Knowles pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays. But the slot receivers are just as exciting especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. Gets the ball off as he is hit, but it's incomplete. Mobility can be a blessing or a curse for some quarterbacks. Sometimes they feel that they can make a play on every single opportunity because they have such speed. 
Instead of just getting down or throwing it away, they try to force the issue. This one almost backfires on him as he tried to squeeze that throw in. He's lucky he didn't throw an interception. He's got it, looking for the end zone. And all of our prep work coming into this national championship, I really wondered how this secondary would hold up against this quarterback and this group of receivers. They better be ready to make some adjustments because right now, this quarterback is having his way with it. And they stopped him just short, but the defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. Well, if you're going to win a national championship, when you get to third downs, you've got to find a way to convert. And here on this opening drive, it's exactly what this offense has been able to do. This time on the ground. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Florida State. In a national championship game, you cannot do a better job of setting the tone immediately, Kirk. Well, it's the biggest game of the year, so you've got to bring your best. On the opening drive, the offense did just that. That's how you get this thing started. And they'll set up now for the extra point drop. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. 